With your robotic vacuum, there's three basic modes you can use on a daily basis. First of all, when we activate the robot, we get the display, and then when we press the clean button, there is a default sign at the top of the robot, as you can see. I'll show you more clearly by using the mode button here. If you press the mode button, there's a zigzag line with an arrow. This is the auto mode. When you turn the Abbey on and the display appears and press clean, the robot will automatically go into auto mode, which basically means it will zigzag around a room, bumping into various objects, but cleaning the room throughout during its program. When the robot's charged, it will automatically default to the auto mode. So you do not have to take it out of any other modes at any point in time. The second mode, if we press the mode button once, then twice, we get a circle with an arrow and a straight line. And this is edge mode. It's an ideal mode for using in corridors or to go around the outside of a room and it helps clean up to the skirting boards. The robot will automatically direct itself to an edge of a room. It will find a wall to the left and then it will follow that room or wall for the whole of its pattern of cleaning. Again, if the edge mode is set, once the robot is picked up or charged, it will resume back to its auto mode. The third mode, if we press the mode button a third time, is a small circle with three arrows. And this is a deep clean spot mode. If we press the clean button, the robot will do a spiral in its own diameter. It will then spiral out to approximately one and a half meters and then spiral back in again to its original starting point. During this process, it will double the vacuum strength, therefore giving a deep clean of a specific one and a half meter rate, uh, diameter circle. Again, when the robot's picked up or charged up, the robot will default back to its auto mode and you can simply press the clean button and the robot will clean as normal.